look of a primer, concealer, mattifying powder, and a BB cream. What is this stuff? Whoa! Hey girl, welcome to memory lane. <laughs> With my goal is to find you the best beauty products for the best prices. We're gonna be battling the new Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector Whipped Matte Makeup versus the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfect Glow Makeup. We're gonna see the differences, the similarities, and which one's better for you. So let's get into it. Okay, so I have more acne on my left side right now. So we're gonna be doing the glow on the right and the matte on the left. Starting off with the matte because I'm really excited about this one. Should I clip my hair back real fast? I just curled my hair so I don't want it to like get all messed up. There, oh, that's a look. Okay, I need directions. You're supposed to apply with your fingers. I wonder if it like your body warmth like helps meld with your skin tone. I know like some of those green ones do that. Interesting. I got some pretty, pretty big pores on this side. So we'll see what I can do. Oh, it's sealed. Come on. Oh, it's coming out whether you want to or not. Whipped stuff always makes me kind of nervous because it looks so weird. Like this one, it's no different. It's like, there's a lot of like air, I, and I realize it has a lot of air because it's whipped, but that makes it look weird. Nice close look at all the acne, gnarly zit. Gnarly, did I just say gnarly? I have a huge zit above my eyebrow. And according to Alta's website, Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Pore in One Perfector Whipped Matte Makeup <laughs> gives your skin the benefit of four products in one. Get the look of a primer, concealer, mattifying powder, and a BB cream in one easy step. Okay, whipped blurring formula gives a matte and instant perfected makeup look. I wonder how many times I can say perfected makeup look because I've skipped over it a couple times. I don't know if I can handle this. I need to use a sponge. It's like the weirdest feeling ever. Let me wet this down. It's a weightless feel and a self-adjusting shade blends into your skin tone. This is going to be interesting. It is $14.99 at Ulta. Okay. That helped like overall make it look like usable, <laughs> but then that made it so it stopped covering up all the acne. So I'm gonna try to go in with a little bit more and shake it up. It's like leaking liquid. I don't remember if you can get this at other stores or not. One of them, it's only available at, Al at Alta. I'll put if you can get it anywhere else. I'll also link everything I talk about in the description box so you can get the links to the cheapest options. I always like link the cheapest options. I'm like trying to like pat it in, create the similar motion of a sponge. And it's just not working. What is this stuff? I don't. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't. It did a good job blending in with my skin tone. Let's, let's try this for a sec. Okay, if I can get it open. We got it. Twisting for a million years time. There we go. Whoa, that's a lot darker. I got it in the lightest shade, I swear. Maybe they labeled it wrong. Moving on. Instant Watch Age Perfect. <laughs> Instant Age Rewatch Age Perfector 4-in-1 Makeup is Maybelline's first 4-in-1 Makeup Perfector. Apparently they're gonna come out with a lot more for a perfect glow look that primes, conceals, highlights, and even skin tone with a light coverage. Okay. Self-adjusting shades blend into skin tone. Okay, we, they're similar in that way, hopefully. They're kind of just repeating themselves. Built-in sponge applicator for easy, quick application and self-adjusting shades for all the skin tone. Yeah, they just repeated themselves in the benefit markup. Um, the, okay, so this was the one that's only at all. That. I tried to find it other places and it was like $35. I was like, that's probably not for Maybelline. <laughs> that's it. There's no way you're not supposed to actually blend this out with the sponge, are you? I'm using this I'm on a different side. It's $12.99. Both of them come in four shades, I believe, but since they're self-adjusting, I guess it doesn't matter. I have both of them in the shade Fair Light, which is the lightest shade. Oh geez. Let's see if I can kind of layer it a little bit. That glow is beautiful though, wow. Yeah, that's a little better. I mean, there's still some acne poking through, but like, it's not horrible. It's not as light coverage. I wasn't expecting everything uh, to be covered up. I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup real fast and then we'll talk about this. Hold on. Should we take these out? <laughs> so I will say, honestly, if you have acne prone skin, <laughs> this one's the better out of the two so far. So on my cheeks where I have zero acne, it actually doesn't look that bad. I don't love the texture of it. It feels kind of like more slick than I would want to for like a matte texture. Like it just feels kind of off. And then any acne, <laughs> whether it's more dried or not, more like new, not as, 
and it hasn't been on my face quite as long. It's just really hard to cover up. At first I did a decent job and then like I actually tried to blend it into the rest of my skin and it just wasn't working. It doesn't look too awful when there's a ton of makeup on, but acne prone skin, I just I think it'd be really hard to work with. Oh my gosh, I can hear the whole thing like jiggle in there. It's like all one lump, weird. We're still gonna see how it wears for the people that don't have acne and just have oily skin because those people exist. I see you. And we'll see how this handles acne and combination to oily skin. So it's 11.38 right now. I'm gonna go about my day. I'm gonna do a check-in halfway throughout the day in natural lighting. We'll see what happens from there. So it's actually seven o'clock, so we're a little bit late. I got distracted making yogurt, I'm sorry. This is what everything looks like. We are shiny on the nose, on actually both sides. This side isn't, no, that side's kind of bad. It isn't quite as bad as this side. My forehead actually looks okay on all sides, which is nice. It's just really the nose that there's an issue. What is on my face? We don't know. We're just gonna leave that there, it's fine. Besides that, everything's sitting really well since I didn't use any type of mattifying primer and that's like a glow makeup this side is. I'm very impressed that it's only my nose. It's a little bit shiny. I didn't use any primer, any setting spray, no setting powder or nothing. I forgot to mention that. And so this is holding up really well. This hasn't really changed on my cheeks, but I'm a little bit disappointed that it's shiny. That's just like, mm, it's not the best. It's not the best. But I mean, if it doesn't get any worse, it might not be the end of the world. I wouldn't want to use anything but really like a setting spray or like a mattifying powder. I wouldn't want to use like a primer underneath this. I feel like it would make the texture of it worse. Anyway, we'll see what it looks like by the end of the day. It is exactly midnight right now. <laughs> no matter what your skin type is. I don't think you're gonna like this. I think, especially cause it's like not the cheapest thing, at least at Ulta. I mean, I'll still link the cheapest option down below if you want me to, but it's just, I like the texture. It doesn't apply well. I liked the idea. They need to try again. This on the other hand, I want to try so bad. I still have food on my face. With like a mattifying primer, like on my nose, cause it held up. Well, it may be like on acne too. Cause there's a little bit of acne that's struggling, but not all of it's struggling. This held up so well, considering how oily my skin gets. Like I'm shocked. I can't wait to try it again with something that'll help balance things out. Maybe put a little powder like around like the edges of my nose where it kind of separated the most. Um, but I can still get that glow and not have much as much oil production, hopefully is the goal, but this is amazing. <laughs> if you want to see a video comparing the new e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation versus the e.l.f. CC Cream, you can click right here. I'll link everything I talked about in the description box below. Those links are affiliate links, so I do get a small percent of the profits if you use my link to buy the product, but it does not affect you in any way. I love you guys so much, and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye!